Well, it might have been gloomy out, but there's a good chance today was our nicest day of the week. First snow on Monday and now a heavy dose of rain coming up. So what is our wettest month? That's a good question for Heather Brown. April showers. Bring May flowers. And June bugs. <laughs> Ever heard that? That's true, too. I don't think that last part's part of the original poem. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you added that. Yeah. The saying dates back to England hundreds of years ago and could explain why some of us think this. What is our rainiest month? I think it is April. April. That's what I thought, too. We haven't had much nice weather for you, have we? No, not really. Turns out it's June by a hair. August is a very close runner up. God, I never make mistakes. <laughs> Me neither. April and June, it rains the same amount of days on average, mm -hmm. but we have more moisture in the air to deal with when we go into the summer months than what we do in April. We get those big thunderstorms. Yeah, yeah. And then that's when all the mosquitoes come out. So here's what happens when we are in summer. You can actually reference our map now. Mm -hmm. You see that jet stream, it's a little bit farther to the north. Mm -hmm. It's way up here. And what that does, it allows all that warm, moist air from the south to travel north. And warm air holds more moisture than cold air. In the winter, so, or spring months, mm -hmm. we have that jet stream a little bit farther south. So what that does is it brings down that colder, drier air. Here's our Minnesota precipitation by month. You can see January is almost an inch. That's how much water there would be if the January snow was rain. Okay, you guys make it look a whole lot easier on, a, you gotta decide, on TV. Will you do hand up? Oh, okay. Or will you do the point oh, and the. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna watch you next time These and see what you do. You and if you're wondering, there really is such a thing as a May flower in Minnesota. Or like light at the end of the tunnel. Right. Heather Brown. It's, we're almost there. We almost just, there. I can taste it. WCCO, <laughs> 4 News. A horticulturist at the U of M told Heather that saying is technically true. Yeah, flowers do need rain to melt the soil and rehydrate their roots, but keep in mind they need warmer temperatures just as much. If you have a good question for Heather, you can email it by going to wcco.com links.